guys, welcome to Another Angle, and I am your host, Tifa Hassan. How are you doing? On today's episode of Another Angle, I have got one question for you and for my guest, and this is it. Do you think or not that social media influencing has become a cover-up for fraud and prostitution? I know, scandalous, this conversation. We have been having it on the internet for a while. But you know what? It's time to take that conversation from the internet and bring it to you on your TV screens. I've got four guests with me today. Kolami Debu is um, a comedian and a businessman. Hi guys, my name is Kolade Mano. You can call me Kolami Day. I'm a comedian, a content creator, and a businessman. We've got Warla with a slight, well, she's just a lifestyle influencer and an entrepreneur. Hi, my name is Okewu Raola Damola. I am an interior designer and I'm also a micro-influencer. And of course, we've got Anderson Amos, who is a singer-songwriter and an artist. Hi, my name is Anderson Amos. Uh, I'm a singer-songwriter and recording artist. And I have DJ Risky with me, who, as the name implies, is a DJ. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is DJ Risky. That's DJ R-I-S-K-I, not R-I-S-K-Y. Who is for, who is against, you will find out in a bit. So just sit down, relax, and I will be coming right back to your TV screens. Don't go anywhere. I am very curious to know who is for it and who is against it. Because the truth is, like I said earlier, we've been having this um, conversation on social media for a long time. Some people seem to believe that uh, these days, influencers just come up and in two weeks, in three weeks, uh, they bought a bed, they bought a house. And sometimes, let's be honest, two plus two doesn't add up. But you know what? Those are not my words. We've got people on social media who have had, you know, a few things to say, like this post. why we need to ask this question and why these conversations need to be had. But you know what, like I said earlier, I am just the host too, and I've got guests who have, you know, their opinions for and against it. So let's get into it. First of all, do you think that social media influencing has now become a cover up for fraud and prostitution? No, I don't. I don't think so. These days, Nigerians just have a funny way of, you know, making things bad. Honestly, um, I think that influencing is just has become like a channel or an avenue for young people to just express themselves and you know make some side cash like side hustle now for some people. Some of the influencers or content creators that we know, it looks dodgy. I mean, you do two skits and five videos, and suddenly you're buying a car or you're buying a house, bro. Does that mean that people are not are now taking advantage of it? I guess. I mean, I can't really say for sure because um, I don't know what it is they're doing and stuff like that. Influencing that's supposed to be a good thing. You go online now, you see people with like, I mean, you buy followers now, you have like 200 or something kid followers and then you're using your followers to scam people, like to collect money, to extort money from people. Dishonest people will always find a way to, to make something good, not so good anymore. So yeah, why not? I don't know. You're seeing people say, oh, because I have such a number of followers and you want to talk to me, you have to send me to some amount of money and yeah I just think all of that is like real like bullshit. But there are more, there's more good than bad to it as, more, as far as I'm concerned because I see more and more people actually creating a life for themselves from influencing so yeah. Of course we're all listening though. She was not going to say yes now. She can say yes. Now there are people now. She's the oldest influencer people now. There are people so. But yeah like Kola Mide did say you know you could, it, it makes no sense if you just start influencing or skip making and the next thing you're buying it then. It's like okay yes side hustle, like that you had money before, but you know sometimes, like I said earlier, one plus one doesn't actually make two. But like Anderson Amos did say, social media influencing has become an avenue for people to showcase for their makeup. So everything, like you said, everything good can also be used for bad. But yeah, moving on to my next question. Do you consider social media influencing a real job? Yes, it is a real job, like an actual job, work, hard work. Yeah, definitely. It is, I mean, even though our parents or some of the older generation be like, Gillian Shea, what are you doing? Just making videos. Social media influencing is a real job because, I mean, it takes time, it takes skill, and you get money from it. I mean, it pays bills. Are you joking? Do you know how much people are charging to influence or even like, it's a job, don't worry, it pays. 
of course social media influencing is a real job i mean like risky said it takes effort it takes resources it takes a whole lot to put all like to put all this content together that you know brings about influences so yes i also do consider it a real job i mean like i mean things have changed from what our parents did used to think like you know, every time you become a lawyer accountant social media influencing can actually be a full time job so yes i do agree with you one of them that say that it's a real job but then the question now is yes it is a job but do you think that social media influencing actually pays people millions do you think that you have fought them the lifestyle that they portray on the internet yes i think so yeah actually i do i do because i i know i kind of know the back end right i know the back end for the ones who have made it to the to that peak it's a possibility i know for a fact that you know social media influencing pays but that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't mean that obviously they're like side stuff that people are doing in addition to the social media influencing you know in quotes everybody wants to use influencers now and we know how much some of them cost and if they're making such um, income or you know over time like daily i can only ask myself what's what are that things you know and then sometimes they have endorsement deals but i don't think every tom dick and harry gets that money you have to be at the top of the chain i mean i don't want to name names but you know the top guys that are raking in all the views and all the uh, followers they have, they should be getting as much as they get. But all these other people that we don't know, they just started yesterday and not suddenly they're buying two bands. It's a bit sketchy. Realistically though, you know, you never can tell what people are doing. I, I'm not one to say what, because I don't have evidence of any other thing. I can only say that they said that's what they've done. So. Personally, me, I don't know about that one. No. I don't know about the millions, I don't know if you have them the lifestyle that they, you know, they portray with me, I don't know. I don't know about the birthday bashes and they are spraying money all over the air, I don't know. If you, if you ask me, me, I don't know. But you know, our guests have said what they have to say. Yeah, you might be able to um, afford them their lifestyle if, like Kalamide said, they are one of the top dogs. Yes, the top dogs, we know the top dogs now. We know people that have worked their ass up to get to where they are. And yes, it does afford them their lifestyle, but not if somebody that started yesterday. But then you can never tell, sure, maybe there's a brand somewhere somehow that paid them billions to influence for themselves so, mm, like what's that thing that you're about to say it's not my mouth that you know that any teacher has died i mean yeah i think that's how they say it <laughs> but yes um do you also see how social media influencing can actually be used as a cover-up for, for the prostitution do you see it or it does not make sense to you what i think is that every career can be used as a cover-up for something so social media influencing can actually yes be used as a cover up. Absolutely, absolutely. I've been scammed as well. I can actually like be an influencer on social media and have a side job. Even as an artist, I've got people hitting me up in the DMs and you know being nasty and disgusting, you know. And so you never can tell who's proposing what. And so you know, yeah, definitely, it definitely can become a, an avenue for like prostitution and scam. The easiest way to cover up things is you know things that are flashy things that everybody look to but yeah I, I can definitely see how it's a cover-up because the influencers can say oh I got paid so so and so amount to promote this waist trainer nobody knows the waist trainer nobody knows who owns the product but hey it's a perfect cover-up actually like Risky said every career can be used for a cover-up or something you just have to think smart and think wise and think fraudulent and it can be used as a cover for one thing or the other well yes guys you have heard from all four of our guests but you know what let them just tell you what their angle is on this conversation hi my name is Okewuraola Unidamola so my angle is you can be an entrepreneur and a social media influencer and actually put in the ad work to get the money to justify the life you are living. Hi, my name is Anderson Amos. Uh, I'm a singer, songwriter, recording artist. The influencing social media and everything has come to stay and it's become like an avenue for, you know, more um, development of like, you know, careers and stuff and things. So I feel like it's a good thing from my angle. I also feel like, you know, as with everything that has a good side, there's always a bad side. It's only, it all depends on who's using it and how they're using it. Hi guys, uh, my name's DJ Risky. That's DJ R-I-S-K-I, not R-I-S-K-Y. I don't want to say social media influencers are using their job as a cover-up, right? But I think it can be used as a cover-up for scamming and prostitution. For me, I think that so far it's done more it's helped a lot of people and, and, and that's, that's, I think, for me, a positive, yeah. 
Hi guys, my name is Colin Day and do what suits you. Um, the people that are doing it, if they're getting away with it, hey, I don't know, I'm not saying go and do it, but uh, those that are really doing the job and raking in the millions definitely deserve their plaudits, but if you're in it for the scams, I just want to say one word, hush puppy. Yes guys, you have heard from all four of our guests. For it, against it. For social media being a cover-up for fraud and prostitution, and against social media being a cover-up for prostitution. By color media said, hush puppy. If you know the story of Hush Puppy, you definitely know what he means. Well, like I said earlier, me, I don't have an opinion. I am just a host for the show. All right, guys, I will definitely see you next time on my next angle.